Good morning students. Today I am going to teach you resonator configuration. So the meaning is the laser resonator or the laser cavity. Okay. So the features and the parameters of the laser cavity should be optimized or uh, we should set values for each and every uh, parameters of this laser cavity or laser resonator. Okay, so first uh, before uh, configuring the resonator, first we should know what is laser uh, resonator. Okay, in the previous class itself I have told laser resonator is a device that contains pumping uh, system one and second one is the laser, sorry, uh, the active medium two and third one is the mirrors and reflectors so the pump from the pumping light the active medium gets excited and from that the laser radiation will come and it will reflect for front front and back uh, of the uh, uh, mirrors and it will be multiplied okay and finally it will be coming out of the laser cavity and it will be uh, used for any applications okay so okay so first let's see the simple laser resonator how a laser resonator looks like okay so first is the end mirror so this is the mirror okay so end mirror and between there are many mirrors one here for a simple laser resonator we have one two and three mirrors okay so for complex one we'll have n number of mirrors but we'll have uh, uh, two end mirrors from the starting and the end we have two end mirrors okay and in between that we'll have a active medium or else called as gain medium the reason uh, if the, the reason for this name is if the active medium only increases the gain of the laser radiation okay so this is the gain medium and next in between the end mirrors we will have many mirrors so using that mirrors the laser light will be moving front and back and it will gain the energy okay so here the we have curved holding mirror one mirror and finally the output mirror okay and one out one more point is any of the end mirrors so there are two end mirrors any of the end one any one of the end mirror will be partially reflecting that means half will be so as in that the output mirror will be partially reflecting so uh, the laser uh, uh, radiation at once it comes here part of the radiation will be uh, going back into the laser cavity itself and part will be coming out okay the the part of the laser mirror that is going inside again it will reflect back and forth and uh, gain much more energy and again it will come out so the process repeats so this is the concept of a simple laser resonator okay now let's see the uh, optimization of laser configuration so uh, what are the things we should optimize for a for designing a laser resonator okay Optimize resonator. So for optimizing the laser design, we should focus on these things. First one is compactness. Okay. So here we should focus on the compactness. That means uh, the design should be as simple and it will be very small. Uh, it, it can accommodate everything but the design should be should not be complex. It should be simple as possible. As simple as possible. Second uh, optimization is it should accommodate more laser. Okay. More laser means multiple lasers uh, uh, should be accommodated. Okay. And the third one is the beam radius. It should be optimized. It should not be very small as it will damage the optical components. Okay. So if the beam radius is very small, the optical components like the lenses or if anything, it will be damaged. So it, will, it should be optimized. And next is so the alignment sensitivity should be adjusted. And finally, temperature, any temperature related uh, issues should be compensated. Okay, so these are the parameters that you should focus while designing a, a good laser resonator. Alright, now 
uh, why we go for a laser resonator uh, configuration or why we uh, we are uh, uh, taking this much care okay the one and only reason is the beam radius Okay, so the main reason is the beam radius should be, should match the radius of the pump region. Okay, well, so that's the reason we are doing all the optimization and everything. So our ultimate aim is to make the beam radius equal to the radius of the pump region. Okay, now let's see the resonator configuration for solid state bulk laser okay solid state bulk laser so in the name itself it is the bulk okay so here we will use more numbers several dielectric mirrors so here dielectric mirrors more number of dielectric mirrors there so that is why it is called this bulk laser solid state bulk laser uh, in uh, some cases what they will do is the instead of placing the dielectric mirror separately they will just do dielectric coating material over the active medium itself okay now let's see the numerical configuration Okay, so there are many softwares for doing all the optimization for you. Okay, so based upon the applications and requirement, we need uh, uh, the, the, the software will automatically calculate the uh, parameters for you. Okay, so one such uh, uh, software is called Special Resonator Design software okay so this software will automatically find the parameters or optimize all the parameters based upon the requirement okay now let's see the way, uh, configurations or various modes of uh, where these mirrors work okay so various configurations we'll see so first is the very basic one so here we will use two lenses or two reflecting mirrors okay and the clarity will be like this. So the name of this is parallel. Parallel. Okay. Since the cavity is parallel. Okay. And next mode is we have. A long radius. Okay. Long radius. Okay, so here the, the path of reflection is actually slightly bent. Okay, and next, next is so this is the spherical. Okay, spherical configuration. And next we have one more. Okay, so it is having the bent is very, very deep. Okay, so this is this type is called confocal. Okay, and Another configuration is, so all the configuration is based upon the mirrors view. Sometimes we may use con convex mirrors, uh, convex lenses, so we will, we will get this pattern, okay. So all, everything is based on the mirrors material we use, okay. And next we have is hemispherical. So here what will happen, we have a mirror in this direction and we have a mirror. So what will happen? So this is the hemispherical, okay, hemispherical one and so all the 
rooms are slightly different only. Uh, okay, and here it is. So see, there is a small gap here, so that this type is called con concave. Concave configuration, and we have one more, which is. So here the gap is slightly bigger. Okay, so we have a slight bigger uh, uh, gap in between the two lines. So this is called long radius, long radii hemispherical mode. Okay, so all these are uh, the various types of configuration. So every pattern will be varying based upon the n mirrors we use. Okay.